Tunisia. Live. Be informed. Be involved. Well, it's nice to be on Tunisia Live. I, I like very much what you're doing as a, uh, as a company. Um, I've been coming to In this interview, Tunisia Live had the pleasure to receive Mr. Jerry Sorkin, the owner of the company Tunis USA. His company is working on the promotion of the Tunisian cultural and historical tourism all around the world. Attracted to the fact that Tunisia, I felt that there was a void. This special country that had an identity so different from the rest of the Arab world, which is the, the misperception many Americans have that mm -hmm. you know the whole Arab world is of the same brush. Um, I felt I wanted to somehow share what I was learning about Tunisia and how different it was. So I started putting uh, little ads in the back of the New York Times travel section in the early 90s saying cultural tours to Tunisia. I had another business at the time, a very entrepreneurial past has been my history. And um, slowly people started calling because no one else ever advertised tours to Tunisia. So I would leave my other business once a year or twice a year and lead a tour and I had developed friends here, archaeologists and other uh, academics who would serve as guides and slowly it grew and I found myself coming here sometimes five, six times a year, spending two, three weeks at a time, traveling everywhere in the country. Um, um, everyone was shocked. I mean, no one, uh, if you ask someone in November, or said to someone that Tunisia is going to have a revolution, people would think you're, you're, you're imagining or you're a you know, conspiracy theorist, theorist. So, like everyone, I was quite shocked. Tunisia was, ha was having its first revolution. And to me, what was quite amazing was while there is a certain amount of anarchy, activity, chaos, and, and all of this, it was really quite amazing how Tunisians came together very strongly uh, I think the initial protests were clearly showing this. You had people from all different socioeconomic levels. You had people from around the country. Um, within a matter of a week, uh, garbage was being picked up. The water worked all the time. The television worked. There was something that, that was quite uh, amazing to see how the system of Tunisia continued, and I think that is a real tribute to the people of Tunisia, how they put their Tunisianness first above everything else, despite all the chaos around. Even, even in Tunisia, where there were censorship and there were limitations, Tunisians ha are open-minded people. And I think the fact that it's an educated populace and, and they are free thinking, I think that's really going to be the ingredient that can help example that I think Tunisia's profile has to be raised. Uh, people have to see that what's going on here in Tunisia is not something that's going to spread danger throughout the world. I mean, there, there's a great fear uh, in the United States, un unfortunately, of many people of uh, going back to the Bush period of what's, what's going to disturb here? Is this going to now start an Islamist revolution that's going to spread? These so may sound like naive notions, but there are many people who have this fear. So I felt by taking my camera, going around and interviewing people, it was a way of reporting back news that I think was really missing. I think American media, while they originally came here because it was hot news, hot news to American media is not that things seem to be working in Tunisia. It's where the bombs falling, where the demonstrations taking place in Syria. I think the American media for the most part has really missed the story about the progress in Tunisia. So, well, well, I'd like to say to Tunisians, um, uh, in Jerry Sorkin you have a friend who is more than a friend. Uh, I would say, uh, uh, while my passport is American, uh, my belief is as strong a Tunisian, Kalbi uh, Tunisian, Kalbi Amriki, I'm here to help in, in any ways, and I think if I can create more ambassadors from the United States going back to, to America and saying, this is what's special about Tunisia, I can help your country in this way. Available on TunisiaLive.net